There's nothing natural about the old man's death, and his son's response to it was self-serving and indecent. In the context of this drama, Puss can hardly be blamed for acting like a human. Turns out father's been brutally murdered, and his oldest son has blood on his hands. The mill is mine. I'll use your ass to work it and give you a crust in return. Sounds fair. <laughs> what about him? He can eat cow shit and die. Father said I could eat the cat. Father's dead, and good riddance to the ugly brute. Make sure you're gone today, or I'll put you in a pie. Take that mangy excuse for a throw rug with you. Wow! Puss had no intention of becoming a meal or a muff. <laughs> you, being useless, will understand nearly nothing of what's to happen. Just stay out of the way. Can you manage that? I'm sure. I did procure your boots, and and previously I asked how high when you said jump. Puss cleared the warren of a raft of rabbits. Then he took the whole mess to the king. Deliciously macabre, Monsieur Puss. <laughs> I'll have this stuffed with something post haste. Will you stay for dinner? <laughs> Delighted, Your Majesty. Uh, is there a box where I might freshen up my toilet? <laughs> Puss perfectly understood the maniac royal's predilection for gore and guts. With the world gone mad and naked, and the bogus marquee coming apart, as it were, Puss had little need to further ingratiate himself into the king's good graces. But he had a story, and he was sticking to it. You'll excuse me for saying so, Master, but I don't believe you resisted those bandits as vigorously as you might have done. Wow. Did I detect yelps of leisure? To the best of my recollection, I was assaulted. Well, do a better job of being miserable. The king will expect it. The king, in fact, was smitten with the cat. What he did for the hapless Marquis was really for Puss's sake. <laughs> This land belongs to the Marquis of Carabas, unless you can answer the following question. <laughs> this is my land. This belongs to Carabas. Is. The rightful owner, correct. Now, the real question is, why do cows have four stomachs? Anyone? Well, Lord Carabas thanks you for your efforts. You may die now. <laughs> Whoever propagated this notion of good ogres never met one. Nasty bits of work ogres are. Rumors are so unkind, your ogreness. You're purported to be ugly, ornery, vicious, cruel, shapeshifters, execrable table manners too. No personal hygiene to speak of. Wow. That's your ogre, I was told. Well, I won't deny it all. It's a cruel description, but fair. And the shape-shifting? <laughs> oh yeah, that's all good. Pretty impressive, really. <laughs> that's very nice, your magnificence. Outstanding! <laughs> the elephant was brilliant, but what would really move me is if you could become a mouse. They are such frightening, resourceful creatures. But no, that would be too much to ask. <laughs> In my previous description of the elder, I omitted dumb, egregious oversight. Include it now. It's a defining characteristic. Now to celebrate multiple murders, massive deceptions, grievous bodily harm, gross assaults on bodies and minds. Oh, wait. Oh, these characters deserve one another. <laughs> May all our stories end so well. Until next time.